my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. I am loving this, loving having the station. Oh, wow. And Real Radio 247.com is up and running. And I am just loving this. It's so cool. You can listen to us on iTunes, iHeart, Google Play, Stitcher, Spreaker, Spotify, I mean, wherever, I mean, wherever you listen to podcasts, we are. And if we're not, let us know and we will be there. (laughs) So I have such a wonderful show for you today. You know, today's show is a little bit different than all the other shows I've ever done. Usually what will happen is I will have the artist or the person that is actually the writer on the show. But this time around, we have something of a twist. The author, Ronald Raymond Roca, is deceased, but his wife is here with us today, and she's going to be talking to us about his book, The Game of Love, Life, Illuminating Your Own. Welcome to the show, Eduarda. Uh, hi. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So, okay. So, can you tell me more about Ronald? Okay. Um... Uh... My husband, Ronald, was born and lived uh, all his life in Alberta, Massachusetts. And after he got out of the high school, he went to the army, to Vietnam in 1968. And when he came back, he decided to go to college, became a graphic art teacher. And also he was um, very, he liked to do different things. He was a professional photographer a cabin maker, a mm. carpenter, handyman, and a writer. Oh, my gosh. And um, he was um, a very kind man, very talented, in my book anyway. He mm-hmm. manages, and he likes to help people. A very good work. Everybody likes him. He was mm. a great person. Wow. And later in life, he likes, um, he got very spiritual, and he liked to preach about home. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was like always uh, speaking the truth. And um, besides writing and all that, he was, <laughs> he loved to go, um, he loved the outdoors. Oh. He enjoyed camping, rocking, ice climbing. Mm. And he took thousands of pictures in his adventures and created. A lot of many slideshows, wow. and um, was a lot to talk about them, but yeah. I understand. And my condolences. But he left you something that's really, really special. Not only did he leave you this book, but he left you one before this one too. So this is his actually the game of love and life. It's his second book. Yes. How long did the it take? First- How long did it take oh, him to write that book? Yeah. No. And tell me about the first one. The first one. It started in September 2000. Okay. And um, like I said, it was channeled like spiritual energy through the essays and poetry. And um, the second one, that's the one we're going to talk more about. Mm-hmm. Um, or the first one, the name was The Great Computer. Oh. It's Courage Generating Our Desires. And that one was published in 2009. Mm-hmm. But the second one the one I published because he, he died and um, took him a lot, a lot of time because, I mean, he was working and he, between working, um, a lot, the takes time it used to be during the, uh, I mean, at night time or weekends, he used to work a lot in that writing mm. and because he was so picky. He wants to rewrite the book. Oh, my gosh. He is working on that. Oh, wow. Wow. That is truly, a, he was truly picky, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, he didn't have enough time and Where did he get his information from? I mean, his ideas, where did they, they come from? Yeah, the, the ideas, uh, some was like his trips and adventures. Oh, okay. And he used to read a lot, 
And some of the books I remember him talking about it was the seven stages of power and healing, the life you were born to live. Nothing in this book is true, but it's all things are. This is the the ones I remember. You read. You probably read more, but I don't remember. Mm, mm, wow. Wow. I mean, you know, Ronald must have been a really, really cool person. I mean, you were so yeah. blessed, so blessed to have that time with him. You know, where did you meet him? Yeah, that is uh, <laughs> very, I, I think it was different. I came from Portugal. Oh. And what happened, my family lived, we lived above, above his parents in the apartment. And when he came back from the Vietnam, I met him. That's how we met. Wow. You guys were together in a while. Wow. My grandfather, he passed away. Yeah, no, my grandfather, he passed away in Vietnam in his second tour when he was just a teenager. He, he, was, he wasn't a teenager. He went in when he was a teenager and he passed away after his second tour. That's something that's, a, 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 wow. I'm glad you, uh, you know what? Vietnam was, was something else and he lived this long. That is amazing. Amazing. How how did you get to the USA though? How did, how, I mean, how did you, um, how'd that happen? My mother's family side was in this country, in the Alaboro area. So mm-hmm. my mother was the only one behind, and my parents decided to come to this country. And because I was older, uh, I could not come with them, me and my brother, mm. because I was over 21. Mm-hmm. I came after, but mm-hmm. that's why we came to try to have a better life. Like, uh, and my mother's family was there for okay. two reasons. Well, and, you, um, yeah. and uh, I don't know if you want me to say something like about the book, like the contents of the book. Well, we're getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. I just want to know, okay. you know, being that, you know, you, you, you were, a, you were, you must have been affected. I mean, how were you affected oh, yeah. by his his writings? You you must have been. I mean, sixteen years. I mean, Vietnam. I mean, all the adventures. Come on, what what rubbed off on you? Okay. <laughs> that was not easy. Believe me, it was very difficult. And sometimes I was upset because I was thinking about it. Like, why And you know, that's that's your bias. That's okay. You're supposed to be that way. And so, like, okay, now he's gone, and you've had that ple- the pleasure of being with him so long. But now that he's gone, only how how long? Forty three years married. Oh my gosh! Congratulations on that. That was that is amazing. That is amazing. Congratulations on that. I mean, that is a blessing. Definitely a blessing. Even though, I mean, you know, all of us have to go at one point or another. We all have to go. And so it's it's sad, but we all know inevitably somebody's going to go before the other or they go together, whatever the case may be. But the blessing is, is that this book, let's talk about this book now, because this book is a result of the, the passion that you have for the, the passion that he had to get it out, even though he got on your nerves. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the book. The book was um like some content I can tell you a few items like power of love mm. and life energy, my daughter truth, faith. Divine inspiration, heaven and on earth and hell, mm. messengers of truth, family, light worker, and that's a lot more. And mm-hmm. um, 
and it was a lot. Like oh. it talked about depression, courage, emotions, the right path, and the uh, the the yeah, event, like I said, it was a, it's a lot, but oh. I didn't really, I don't remember all the details about it. It was too long <laughs> yeah. to read all that anyway. Yeah. And I was excited, and but one thing happened after all this um, was published. The book was uh, in the fair in Germany last October. I was really excited about that. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Now, the passion that you have to put this book out, you know, when did you know, when did you know that this, you had to do this? And and how did you go about doing it? Oh, my God. Um, like I told you before, I sometimes I repeat myself, but I took one year. I constantly, like every day, I thought about that book, mm. which when he was alive, I never talk about the book, <laughs> but I thought about it because it was his passion. He wanted to finish, mm-hmm. which he accomplished, but he wanted to publish. And I felt so bad. I felt guilty, mm. kind of. And that guilt was going, like, uh, sometimes I used to sleep and wake up and thinking about the book. And I said, finally, one day I said, I have to do something about this. Mm. Like, I'm really strong, and I really have to find a way to do it. And one thing was the first book he published in our universe went through that company, and I said, I keep most of the things. I look it up, the number, mm-hmm. and I said, I have to call them. I'm going to call, because the other one was with them anyway. Mm-hmm. So I said, I'm going to call in from there. Explain what I had to do, but it was complicated. I, I was I had panic attacks and couldn't sleep because it was so much mm. I had to do for me because I was not I'm not used to do this stuff anyway. Right. That was his job that he didn't accomplish, and um, I went through all this, but I had to have somebody to work in a computer. I'm not a computer person. I'm too old to learn all this stuff. To put the pictures there, this and that. So I uh, asked my nephew. My nephew was my very big help because he, well, without him, I never could accomplish this. Mm. He did all the formation, the emails back and forth, the signatures, all that stuff needs to be done. Mm-hmm. And that's how I did it. Wow. But after one year, we accomplished that. And uh, it was a lot of work, but I don't regret that. I I feel better now. I don't have that guilt. That right. was just 16 years with in a draw. I said, no, I have to do it. I don't right. know how far this is going. I hope it goes far and a lot of people see and read and enjoy it. I hope so. That's what he wanted. But at least I did something for him. I right. did a lot better. Wonderful. Now, there's a company that helps you uh, promote this book. It's uh, Dream Books Distribution. Tell me about that. What, how's your experience with them been? With the book? Yeah, with the, with the, was... the distribution company. The company that helps you? Oh, the distribution company? Yeah. Um, oh, my God. The distribution company. Uh, the, uh, what's his name again? Um, Dream Books? The dream book. Oh, I almost forgot, but I can't forget that. <laughs> I can't forget that because these guys have been amazing. Mm. Um, the dream books distribution, they've been like, um, I don't know, they're so pleasant to me and very patient because if I don't understand, I keep calling and calling and calling and they always say to answer my questions. Because I'm not uh, a good person to get emails, and I, I'm not that type. I prefer my piece of paper and a pen, uh-huh. but they've been wonderful to me. Wow. Very, very. I, I, can't, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate. And the guys are so nice and doubtful. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. Yes. Wow. Well, Edwanda, I I absolutely enjoyed myself today. You know, having this is the first time I've ever had the wife 
of someone or, you know, or the spouse of someone on the show um, on the behalf of the person who wrote it. You're pre- I mean, you are a wonderful person and I can't imagine you not being a wonderful wife to your husband. Um, even yeah, in, my, even at this moment, even at this moment. Yeah, my, yeah, my husband used to call me the queen. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you are, then you are the queen and you're still, and you will always remain the, the queen. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. You know, where can people get this book? The book is at Amazon.com and Barnes and Noble. Okay. Yeah. That's what they are. Uh, they, um, but uh, I did the best, the best, the best I could do. Right. And after, like you said, like back into me coming to this country, and I was, uh, I'm a strong person, and I very persistent. If I put in my mind to do something, mm-hmm. I have to find a way. I hear you. That's the way I am. Mm-hmm. And besides, I had. Um, it was very hard to come to this country anyway. I was a school teacher there. Mm. And I had to come and work in factories. I, oh, I couldn't even do it. But down the road, I had, uh, I was a teacher assistant for uh, Portuguese schools, bilingual. Mm-hmm. And in the end, I worked 25 years for um, special needs kids. That's amazing. So, that's what I did. And, um, uh, I speak English. You do. And get along. <laughs> you do. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> wow. In the beginning, at the beginning, I was afraid to speak, but I said, I have to take care of myself. I'm not going to ask people to translate for me for the right. rest of my life. Yeah. 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 Wow. And well, Wilder, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much. Wow. You guys, the book is named The Game of Love, Life, Illuminating Your Own. Yeah. Am I correct? Awesome. And you guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy and paste the links in the description box below the interview here so that you guys can copy and paste that into your browsers and go and look at those books and even maybe even purchase it. You know, it's it's a lifelong dream to actually continue the work of a loved one. You know, when it comes to something like that, Eduarda, you know best about this. What what do you suggest to people when they want to continue something that someone started but can't finish? Uh, to me, yes. uh, myself was uh, loving my husband and I really came to the conclusion how much he worked on it and to put aside doing nothing, just getting dust in a, in a drawer, I couldn't do that. And I'm a very per- persistent person. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to go about it, but I did it. The first phone call I made, I made in my mind, I was going to do that. You just have to be persistent and ask for help, which they helped me with the phone calls. And I took, I have a, like notebooks writing all the conversations, dates and everything, because I can't remember everything. Mm-hmm. That's what I did. I was very persistent. And I accomplished it. I'm really proud of myself. But I had help. <laughs> like, if somebody knows a computer thing, you don't need that part of help. Mm-hmm. I need it. Mm-hmm. But I got somebody that it helped me. So that's what I have to say. And I'm very proud of myself. And I'm very proud of you as well, Advada. Thank you so much, girlfriend. You did it. I did it. You did it. (laughs) I did it. Yes. You did it, girl. You did it. Definitely. And Edward, you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And thank you so much for being on the show. And you guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Dream Chasers Radio. Don't forget, we'll have all that information in our description box below. So you can copy and paste it into your browser and go I had to go and support. Eduardo did a great thing by continuing the work of her husband. And we want to be a support. So if you can support, support, please do. And don't forget to tune in every Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here at Dream Chasers Radio. We're going to go ahead and say good night. Eduardo, good night. And good night. Good night. Thank you so much.
no problem. And you guys, bye guys. And don't forget to dare to be different. Woo! <laughs>